All right, this started yesterday with us scrubbing the brick with wire brushes and then Scott was vacuuming. You saw that clip just a minute ago. Well, then that project expanded and all of a sudden all the trims off the window and um, tell them why you did that. Well, I was poking back in the mortar joint to see if that was sealed up and apparently it goes all the way back into the cavity of the wall so and we could see outside yeah there's zero insulation in it so we're actually in our bonus room i actually just sealed it up around the window yeah so what it took what three cans of yeah. foam and then he um you can see where he sprayed the foam in there i'm sorry it's kind of dark out here kind of dark but he sealed that all up and then he used our handy dandy tool to cut this foam. It's uh, this little thing here that's, sorry you guys are getting to view all of the junk. But this little tool, you can pick it up at Harbor Freight. It has, it, it's a vibrating tool and it has a little cutter. And that's what he used to trim the, the foam back. So. It's just even, all of that along the ceiling will be covered with some cove trim, which we priced out yesterday. And because the ceiling is kind of wavy from the age of the house, we decided we're gonna buy the plastic trim pieces instead of wood because it's more flexible and will easily go up there for us. So the next step, he's picking up his mess and then we'll have to move the windows, but then we need to put a primer on it. You have to um, put a concrete bonding primer on before you put your paint. So that's our next step. Um, let me show you the can. This is what we're gonna use. Bonding prior, primer by Bayer premium floor coatings. It's a floor coating, but it's concrete and masonry um, binder. So that's what we're going to put on. And then this, we're only painting the brick wall out here, which is basically the side of the house because we're in the bonus room. And we're going to do this half. And then after we rearrange the room some, Scott's hobby space is going to be on this side of the room. So his work table and his shelves and all of that will be along this wall and across that window and over here. Then once that's done, we have to repeat what we did over here, over there. But this is what we call the radio room because it's got all the antique radios that are in process. Um, it's such a mess out here. I hadn't wanted to work out here. Yeah, it's it's a wreck out here and, and he wants it to be more organized and I'm going to help him with that. So I think these organizations organizational skills are really good. So we'll work on this. We got a um we almost need a shelf to store the cat boxes on maybe by the door. We'll see what we end up with after we've reorganized. And there's Miss Piper. Y'all don't get to see her much. You want to go in and see your dad? He's back in his bedroom. Okay. There you go. She's so pudgy. Look at her. There she goes. She says, I'm going to go get a drink and then go see my daddy. Bye, Piper. See y'all later. All right. I just finished doing the priming on the wall. And it says that we can put the first coat on of paint in four hours. So we're gonna, we got four hours to kill basically. But I wanted to note that we bought two gallons of this um, primer, but we did not need it. So if you're gonna do this project uh, where you're gonna do a wall, you only need to pick up one gallon or even a quart of this to do a whole wall. I don't know if it comes in quarts, but if it is, it would be a good idea. Um, the, let me see if I can come over here. I'll have to turn, so. But the product is not like paint. It's very watery. And we bought some of the paintbrush, the cheaper paintbrushes that are made for rough surfaces. 
and um, I just used a, a two inch brush and went over the whole wall just saturated the brick and the mortar and um, that's all I used and I did the whole wall and it was really saturating the wall so you don't need a lot of this to do a wall so that there's that um, we were talking about that other gallon will list on either Facebook marketplace or um, next door so four hours to kill gonna use my wow mom hammer and it's a joke in the family that it says mom on the hammer but it depends on how you're holding it because if you're holding it a different way it says wow but anyway <laughs> this is the progress on the wall that we are going to paint are you tired a little bit I'm exhausted and my shoulder is killing me but the wall is done I did most of the work. Look at this. You did not. You <laughs> lying son of a. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> but it's done. Um, it's a lot of work. And. It's not all dry yet. It's not all dry yet. You can see the shiny bits. But I, I really like how it looks. And it kind of blends in the bad brickwork we had done, but oh. actually on camera it doesn't look bad at all. It looks oh. good. Uh, just don't look too close. That was the whole idea of painting it, was to kind of make it blend. So, that is... This brickwork is not my work. I do not don't take ownership of that. We paid somebody. We, we stupidly paid somebody to do that. And but, regret it. But it's done. It and look, Scott's like a superhero now. He's got his shadow there. I'll get out of the front. You're fine. It's not bothering me. It's not. But uh, we've got to get up early tomorrow. Uh, Ann is on. It's I think after midnight, and we are just wrapping this project up. Um, I am planning to rip the carpet up as I go in this room. And get it out of here. We might need a one of those walkway black non-skid mats to go from the door to the door so we don't fall down on cement. But we'll see. But yay, it's another project halfway done because we still got to do that short wall over there on that side. But that's going to have to wait. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.